In the last movie, you learned how to create a custom attribute to blend between the IK and FK solutions. That's fine, but the work is not over yet. Say the animator is working in IK mode and has posed the arm a certain way. And suppose further that from that point on, the animator needs to switch to FK controls. That's fine, but using the IKFK blend custom attribute is moving the arm back towards the FK chain. You need to devise a way to bring or snap the FK chain towards the current arm pose. Ultimately, you would need a way to bring or snap the IK solution back towards the FK solution when that one is favored. This is done by matching the transforms of one chain to the other. To create these controls, you will rely on a few lines of script. If you've made any changes to the IKFK controllers, transform them back to zero. Select one of the controllers, such as the hand IK, and go to the Modify panel. The attribute holder modifier is instanced to all ARM controllers, so it won't matter much which one is selected. From the Max Script menu, choose Open Script. Browse and select the ikfksnap.ms file you downloaded for this tutorial. Take a look at it. The first and last parts of the script deal with the creation of a new custom attribute. It defines the type, buttons in this case, and the appearance such as labels, width, and height. The last line of code adds the custom attribute to the selected object's current modifier. The middle section in the script encodes various objects to match each other's transforms. The three-line part is invoked when you press the FK to IK button. It ensures that the FK controller transforms match the transforms of their respective IK bones or controllers. The one line of code is invoked when you press the IK to FK button and matches the IK controller transforms to the hand FK controllers. Notice that this script is very specific to this scene and in fact specific to the left arm. Later on, when you work on the right arm and need to use this script, you will need to change the code to reflect the proper object names. In short, you need to change all left labels, shown as small l's, to right or small r's for the script to work on the right arm. For now, evaluate the script by choosing Tools, Evaluate All. A new rollout and two new custom attributes are added to the attribute holder modifier. Close the Max Script Editor. Adjust the IK solution to a pose that you like. Now assume you want to use FK mode to animate from this point on. As mentioned before, using the IKFK blend spinner moves the arm back towards the FK chain. To bring the FK chain towards the current pose, click the FK to IK button. From this point on, you can set the blend to 100 and use an FK solution to pose the arm. At any time, you can use IK to FK to reverse the effect and have the IK solution take over again. You may need slight adjustments to the elbow swivel as well. When you're done testing, Select all ARM controllers and transform the selection back to zero before moving on. In the next movie, you adjust the behavior of roll bones.